Hi, I'm Lori Archambault, former of Lori Bowers. I've been coming to Randolph since I was about five. Mine's a little different than everyone else's. <laughs> Boy, am I hungry. They've locked me in this room and are busily going in and out of the door. I'm a hunter. I can get my own food. I just need to get out. Someone is coming. Here's my chance. The door opens. I'm out. People are screaming. The door is open to the outside. I'm out. I'm a hunter on my way to get my breakfast. They call me. Dusty, Dusty, kitty, kitty. But I'm not fooled. They want to put me in that contraption for seven hours. Not me. I'm a hunter. I'm a survivor. Jeez, it's getting cold and dark. Where is everybody? Georgie? Who's Georgie? She's left me some food on the back porch. Where is everyone? I want to sleep inside. No matter, I'm a hunter. I'm a survivor. Who's that? Peter, yes, I know Peter and Bill. What's going on? He's putting me in a sack. I'm in it for three hours. Where am I? Rocks, low growing trees and people, lots of people and some with dogs coming and going, a wood stove for cooking, too much. I'm out of here. I'm a hunter, I'm a survivor. So I go, days and weeks go by. And I hear Lori calling, Dusty, Dusty, kitty, kitty, come here, kitty, kitty, come on, come on. I'd like to come, but there are all those people, three with dogs. I meow under the cabin late at night when it is quiet. People tell her, but she's not believing. He always comes when I call. Jeez, it's really getting cold. Peter is gone, fewer and fewer people visiting the cam cabin. Now I'm here there to greet them, but it's getting really cold. <laughs> there are complaints, two kitties to feed now. I'm a hunter, I'm a survivor, but it's really getting cold. Oh, here come two nice looking ladies. What are they doing? Cleaning the cabin, petting me? What, wait, they are sticking me into another sack. <laughs> Nora says, Anna, are you sure it's Lori's cat? Must be, down we go. Then into one of those contractions for hours and hours off to Amherst, Massachusetts. Then who do I see? Mommy! She's putting me in another contraption, taking me where? Home to Connecticut. I'm a hunter. I'm a survivor. <laughs> My cat, Dusty, lived three months on Mount Adams in the late summer and fall of 1963. He returned to Connecticut, later moved to Miami, Florida survived eating a poisonous toad, moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and at the age of 14 succumbed to cancer in Randolph. He was a hunter, he was a survivor, and it takes a village. Georgie was Georgie Kendall, who lived up the hill through the woods and agreed to feed him until Peter, my brother, Peter Bowers, and Bill Arnold, who were the caretakers at Crag, could fetch him. Nora Nunu Johnson and Anna Stearns would go every October to close up the old Crag. The old log books noting Dusty Stay have disappeared, but were fun reading the following summer. <laughs>